Hare Krishna. So I'm very happy I'm very happy to see you all here this morning. How many of you can understand English? Okay. Telugu translation. Okay. Firstly, I thank His Grace Vendar Govinda Prabhu for giving me this opportunity. So, I know that I am not qualified, but still Prabhu Ji is very merciful. He is giving me an opportunity. Today, very auspicious day to see all the Vaishnavas here. And uh, please pray for me that I should speak something in relation with our Guru Parampara. So, I should not go beyond this. Today, actually, in our Narsimha Giridhari Mandir, we have uh, cooking services. 
so we have just finished cooking and came rushing here sorry for the late Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya 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 Narayanam Namaskrutyam Narayanam Namaskrutyam Naram Chaiva Narottamam Saraswati Vyasam Devim Saraswati Vyasam Tato Jayam Udirahe Tato Jayam Udirahe Nasta Prayeshu Abhadreshu Nasta Prayeshu Abhadreshu Nityam Bhagavata Sevaya Nityam Bhagavata Sevaya Bhagavati Uttama Sloke Bhagavati Uttama Sloke Bhaktir Bhavati Naishtiki Reading from Srimad Bhagavatam, Canto 1, Chapter 13, Text Number 46. Kala Karma Gunadino, Kala Karma Gunadino, Kala Karma Gunadino, Kala Karma Gunadino, Deho Ayam Pancha Bhotika, Deho Ayam Pancha Bhotika, Deho Ayam Pancha Bhotika, Deho Ayam Pancha Bhotika. Katam Anyams to go by Katam Anyams to go by Sarpa Grasto Yata Param Sarpa Grasto Yata Param Sarpa Grasto Yata Param Anybody proposes? Would you like to repeat? Katamanyams to go by Sapagrasto Yataparam Vaishnavis Alakamagunadino Sapagrasto Yataparam Kala Karma Gunadino Devo Yam Pancha Bhotikam Katam Anyams to go by Sarpa Grasto Yata Param Kala Karma Gunadino Devo Yam Pancha Bhotikam Katam Anyams to go by it. Sarpagas to Yataparam. God meaning translation and purport by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedan Swam, Srila Prabhupada Ki Kala, eternal time, karma, action, guna, modes of material nature, adhina, under the control of death, deha, material body and mind, I am this, pancha bhautikaha, 
made of the five elements katham how anyan others to but gopaya give protection sarpagrastah one who is bitten by the snake yata as much as param others translation this gross material body made of five elements is already under the control of eternal time kala action karma and the modes of material nature guna how then can it being already in the jaws of the serpent protect others purport the world's movements for freedom through political economic social and cultural propaganda can do no benefit to anyone for they are controlled by superior power a conditioned living being is under the full control of material nature represented by the eternal time and activities under the dictation of different modes of nature there are three modes of nature namely goodness passion and ignorance unless one is situated in the mode of goodness one cannot see things as they are the passionate and the ignorant cannot even see things as they are therefore a person who is passionate and ignorant cannot direct his activities on the right path only the man in the quality of goodness can help to a certain extent most persons are passionate and ignorant and therefore their plans and projects can hardly do any good for any good to others above the three modes of nature is eternal time which is called kala because it changes the shape of everything in the material world even if we are able to do something temporarily beneficial time will see that the good project is frustrated in course of time the only thing possible to be done is to get rid of eternal time kala which is compared to kala sarpa or the cobra snake whose bite is always lethal no one can be saved from the bite of a cobra the best remedy for getting out of the clutches of the cobra like kala or its integrity the modes of nature is bhakti yoga as it is recommended in the bhagavad gita 1426 the highest perfectional project of philanthropic activities is to engage everyone in the act of preaching bhakti yoga all over the world because that alone can save the people from the control of maya or the material nature represented by kala karma and guna as described above the bhagavad gita 1426 confirms this definitely om tat sat om agnana timirandasya nananjana shalakaya chakshmur militam yena tasmay sri guru ve namaha श्री चैतन्य मनोवृष्टिस्थापित ये नूतले स्वयं रूपकदमह्यम ददा स्वदाक वंदेहम श्रीगुरो श्रीतपतकमल श्रीगुरो वैष्णवांश श्रीरूप सागर जात सहगन रघुनाथ तम सजीव साइत सवधूत परजन सहित कृष्ण चैतन्यदेव श्री श्री राधा कृष्ण पादा सहगन ललिता चिशाकांतिताकृष्णा करुण सिंधो दीन बंधो जगत्पते गोपीश गोपी का कांता राधा कांता नमोस्त मे तप्त कांचन गौरंगी राधे वृंदावनेश्वरी वृषभानुसुते देवी प्रणमा हरे प्रिय वाचाकल्पतरूपेशुपासुंदुभ्ये वतितापनेभ्यो वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नम जय श्रीकृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्री अद्वैतकथाधरा श्रीवासादिगौरभक्तवृंद हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा कृष्ण कृष्णा हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा सो द सीरीज ऑफ क्लासेस हैव बीन गोइंग ऑन हियर द लास्ट क्लास इज दिस परमानंद प्रभु गेव इट आई हॉर्ड इट इन द यूट्यूब एंड इट वॉज वेरी वंडरफुल क्लास प्रभु वॉज very deeply touching the sloka so you all know that dhritarashtra <coughs> is a crooked mind and we already learned so many basics of dhritarashtra he is uh, he is blind both materially and spiritually also 
normally people we see only physically blind but dhritarashtra is uh, uh, both spiritually and physically also he is blind so how how can he be elevated so for everybody in our life one vaishnavas mercy is required without vaishnavas mercy without devotees mercy nobody can able to come to krishna consciousness every one of you gathered here should have a link with a devotee otherwise you could not have joined this shrimad bhagavatam class and before we actually begin uh, we also have some uh, review of the previous verses like you all know the 14th chapter of the first canto of shrimad bhagavatam describes the circumstances concerning concerning the disappearance of lord krishna from this uh, earthly planet and after kurukshetra war got over everybody you know left and they reached their own places and lord krishna also reached dwaraka and after few days yudhishthir maharaj sent arjuna o oh, arjun you go to dwaraka and uh, see how our uh, our relatives our friends our kith and kin you go and enquire yoga kshema of all those dwaraka vasis and come back so arjuna went to dwaraka and uh, he is able to return to hastinapur but in the hastinapur what happens like after the war got over all the pandavas came to meet their uh, uh, maternal uncle dhritarashtra we all already have seen in some videos like dhritarashtra still he was crooked minded he devised a plan so that he can able to kill bhima by embracing do you all know that so anyway the supreme lord krishna was there and he stopped bhima you don't go then why my paternal uncle is asking me to embrace so i just wanted to go then krishna said okay you wait for a moment then he pushed a uh, some doll type so dhritarashtra he brought all his vengeance and uh, uh, all his anger and you know he thought the bhima came in front of and he embraced and he made the doll into the pieces and powder so how strong he was we thought only dhritarashtra was blind but he was a king and he has very strength person also but as you know bhima yeah, he is a god thousand elephants power you know bhima so this this fellow he wanted to you know vanquish the whole pandava dynasty for a simple reason when krishna came for shanti uh, they did not agree for the proposal and even the pandavas came very very down and they asked you just give five villages this five village is sufficient for us we can akshatriya kshat means is a protector from the heart if anybody is hurting and he, he, kshatriya's duty is to protect to rule the kingdom and uh, collect the taxes these are the qualities of a kshatriya but here what happens and they were pandavas were not given any opportunity to rule the kingdom but at least you give five villages so that we can able to rule it so duryodhana he said that was also not possible so then supreme lord said okay you are inviting death and nobody can stop so so let it happen like that then kurukshetra war happened and you all know the story and uh, all the kauravas have been vanquished and it was the time for so supreme lord to reestablish the dharma eda eda he dharmasya glane bhavati bharata abhyutana adharmasya tadatpanam sujame ham now adharma is more prevalent the lord came and reestablished the dharma the same thing happened in the previous yugas also when uh, hiranyaksha was playing with the bhudevi the lord came in the form of varahadev and rescued the earth then is another brother the demon hiranyakashipu he 
became the ruler and he started troubling all the Brahminical culture. Again, Lord appeared as Hiranyakashipu. No, that Lord Narasimhadev, he came and killed Narasimhadev. And it was very ghostly affair. Like, you know, when Hiranyaksha got killed, it was only a slap, tuck, and he got died. But Hiranyakashipu death was not like that. It was very, very horrible. So, why it was very horrible means that much horrible he has troubled the devotee. His own son, Prahala. Now you see the punishment, Lord, Lord can able to, maybe devotee can able to tolerate the pains given by the enemy or a non-devotee, but the Lord cannot tolerate. Lord came in the form of Narasimhadev and he tore his abdomen and he took the intestines and he made a garland like this. So very horrible, you know. But even if you think of Kamsa, do you think Kamsa got killed like that? No. In a Musti by Krishna, he just killed him, Krishna and Balaram. But the point to understand here is, if anybody is hunting, insulting or killing the Vaishnavas, Lord will not tolerate and he will kill like anything. Similarly, the same thing happened for the Kauravas also. Now, Kurukshetra got over and uh, everybody is settling down. Now, uh, Pandavas, as usual, they are very, very wonderful devotees of the Lord. And even the war got over, uh, Dhritarashtra and Gandhari, they were properly honored. One day, uh, Yudhishthir Maharaj got up and he wanted to take blessings. See, the quality of a Vaishnava. He is always very humble. He will pay dandavats, he will take blessings of the seniors and he will follow the guidelines. But he, in the same way, uh, Yadishthir Maharaj one day went to the palace and he wanted to take blessings of uh, Dhritarashtra and uh, he was not available. So, these incidents we all know that. And Vidura, before that Vidura, he went to uh, pilgrimage, he came back and he was, uh, uh, he came back only to enlighten Dhritarashtra. So there was a conversation in Srimad Bhagavatam first canto in this chapter and uh, he was, uh, Vidura was asking what kind of person you were, Dhritarashtra. And uh, because of your evil mentality, you lost all your kingdom, you lost all your sons, nobody is alive now. Still you became a parasite. Parasite means living uh, uh, on the mercy of others. Do you still think you are the greatest emperor? Do you still think you are the uh, controller of the whole Hastinapur? No. So like that, Vidura came and enlightened Dhritarashtra. Dhritarashtra, then uh, he got an uh, eye-catching enlightenment and he left the palace. And Gandhari also followed him. Then you see, now another Vaishnava came to enlighten another Vaishnava. Who is that? That is uh, Narada Muni. Narada Muni came and uh, he started uh, conversating or enlightening uh, uh, King Yudhishthira. So, as usual, King Yudhishthira came just before that and he could not able to find his uh, uncle. And another uncle, Vidura, was also missing and uh, Mother Gandhari is also missing and he was very morose. Where have my uncles gone? One of the uncle he, he could not able to see and who could able to guide him. Now you see the quality of Vaishnava. He was personally feeling a kind of concern for his own uncle. But whereas, when before the war, this Dhritarashtra, he did not show that kind of compassion, that kind of quality towards Pandavas. That's why in Bhagavad Gita, the first sloka says, Dhritarashtra Uvacha. What is the first verse? Ah, Dharma Kshetre, Kuru Kshetre, Ah, he says, Mamaka Pandavas Chaiva. He is separating. Mamaka Pandavas. What are my sons doing? What are the Pandavas doing? From very first sloka itself, we can understand that he was a crooked mind. But Vaishnava is not like that. So, Yadishthir Maharaj, he was inquiring. Now, Narada Muni came to the spot 
and he was mentioning you know you don't have to worry about your uncle and his wife or anybody in this whole world why in the purport it is mentioned <coughs> the world's movements of freedom through political one moment the world's movement for freedom through political economic social and cultural propaganda can do no benefit to anyone for they are controlled by superior power and in the election so many politicians they come with the largest portfolio and they display so these are the things we are going to promise you if you can vote for me i can fulfill all these desires but innocent people they cast their votes then after uh, he came to the ruling uh, and uh, the manifesto will be the remaining same if there are 10 items only one or two item uh, like uh, i wash uh, they fulfill that agenda points so the point here proper the mentions uh, in the purport is none of these projects which are uh, uh, materially motivated they cannot satisfy even in this uh, society unless otherwise they have touch with uh, krishna say for examples uh, we have uh, damodar mant is coming book distribution is coming and we can keep it as a project we can involve all politicians also why because there is a krishna touch is there when krishna touch is there and bhagavad gita it can be spread all over the world so freedom movement cannot fetch freedom from birth death old age and disease so in 1947 we got the freedom okay and many other countries were also slaves they got later freedom but can, can they get freedom from janma murtyu jara vedi no but uh, unnecessarily they are fighting for i want to be a liberty liberable person i want to live independently and this kind of uh, mentality may not work in this uh, material world even gandhi also and many times you know our shil prabhupada is very intelligent he is using, using uh, uh, gandhi statements in our bhagavad gita whenever uh, mahatma gandhi says whenever i get a doubt i open bhagavad gita i get a solution definitely for that in other place prabhupada says gandhi is a materially motivated person he is fighting for a piece of land that means if anybody is fighting for a small piece of land or declaring that is my hometown this is my native place and uh, we are relating our body just like that i took but there that does not belong to you even our own house can someone tell you how are you a owner of a house how are you owner of your house so it is only in the registered document your owner so the in bangalore city there are so many apartments are coming up once the apartment is collapsed where is your ownership you are in 10th floor where is the 10th floor now where is the 12th floor where is the ground floor everything got collapsed it came to the again <laughs> normal so we are not the owners so prabhupada was mentioning you know uh, even prabhupada wrote a letter and unfortunately it was not delivered to gandhi then even he was warned for the next day program you don't go then he could not able to understand and went to that program and he got shot dead by naturam gods so here we can understand that great persons they also do the mistake that's why in bhagavad gita it is also mentioned that great persons means they should be devotees of the lord yad yad acharati shrestha tad tad etadaro janaha the jana they may simply follow but that acharat is shrestha shrestha means he must be devotee of the lord not somebody else materially you know politically he may be very famous worldwide state wide district wise but if he is not a devotee that does not work shil prabhupada even says that if uh, anybody is contesting as mla mp you know 
if you are a hindu you must you must have already read the bhagavad gita if you are a muslim you should have already read one time at least quran if you are a christian you should have already read the one time bible then you can contest as mp mld so prabhupada has uh, you know very stunning statements ordinary people karmi people they cannot take it okay so we have uh, standard uh, built in packages are here standard built in packages birth death old age and disease can anyone escape this no one can escape and we have uh, another customized packages there customized packages there are problems coming from one's own body and mind you call in sanskrit atyatmik atyatmika adi bhautika and adi daivika these are somewhat you know customized packages this some we can escape some they cannot escape but all together we have both the packages standard packages janma mrityu jara vedi customized packages atyatmik atyatmik adi bhautik and adi daivika so just like you know you parked your car and suddenly a big uh, branch of tree fell on the car and uh, it may not happen to your car or my car for some others it may happen and you are going on the road suddenly dog comes and bites you it is not that dog bites for everyone isn't it so this is a different package so the point to understand in this material world is we are not dependent on our own just to reach this bhakti center in madhali do you just disappear in your house and appeared here no we have to depend on so many factors you have to get up and you have to depend on your geyser yeah? you have to take a hot water bath bangalore climate is cold then you have to depend on your two wheeler four wheeler or auto rickshaw and that fellow has to come and they, there should not be any trouble trouble in between the journey and finally you have to reach and you have to climb up the stairs and come do you think you are independent not at all we are independent karta aham iti manyate and we are thinking i am the doer of all my activities isn't it okay so uh, for these are all the uh, different packages according to their karma it is being executed for them then we can see the mood of our acharyas also Uh, ramanuja acharya delivered many fallen souls uh, being compassionate like it is also like uh, jeeva daya and uh, not like uh, today's politicians they give lot of manifestos they do not fulfill they come and give uh, they may give false promises and they say that next time if you elect you know next time i will completely fulfill that next time if you elect him also the same problem will be there so this is in the material world we are prone to like this and we can never become independent real independence is the one when we depend on krishna that is the real independence and conquer now the three modes of material nature is mentioned in this purport by shila propa a conditioned living being is under the full control of material nature represented by eternal time and activities under the dictation of different modes of nature and uh, the people who are in uh, rajaguna and tamaguna they cannot able to make the things uh, proper they cannot able to rule the kingdom but unfortunately in this uh, democracy democracy means proper as is democracy is democracy where people unqualified people you know they simply got elected and they do not know what to do for example there is a cobbler means a person who mends shoes and chappals you go and give him 10 crores what will he do with the 10 crores all of daily he sees only 10 rupees maximum 100 rupees he sees all of a sudden 10 crores is given to a cobbler he does, he does not know what to do then he will what will he do he knows only the one thing he will go and drink and he will eat something and he will sleep this uh, as per uh, sastras it is called mode of uh, ignorance tamagana and just imagine such type of people are coming for uh, ruling a uh, country or ruling uh, one corporation then how how can he able to 
meet the standards of the society. That's why we should uh, be in the mode of goodness at least that's what Srila Prabhupada says. Prakrite kriyamanani gunai karmani sarvashyaha ahankara vinutatma kattaham iti manyate. This fellow does not know that. He thinks he is only the doer. See, I got first rank in IAS. Do you think he, that with his own knowledge he got first rank in IAS or NEET or CET or any other thing? Ah, he has to go to coaching center. He has to get trained. But Krishna says in Bhagavad Gita, Matta Smutir Gnanam Apohanam. From me comes knowledge, remembrance and forgetfulness. But how can you claim that uh, I am you know, state first, India first, world first? You cannot say. So these are uh, uh, gambling numbers. So, first of all, we have to purify ourselves, then we try to purify others. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu says, Janma Sartaka Kari, he says first. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu did not say, you go and do para upakar. He says, you make your life purified. Janma Sartaka Kari, Kara para upakar. Those who have taken birth in India especially. Because India is the holy land. Many other countries may have a different, they are very good at uh, so many technologies. But India is good at which technology? Spiritual technology. ST. We are good at, we are extremely good at uh, spiritual technology. Whoever they may be in other countries, they have to come to Indians and learn. That's what Prabhupada taught. Just yesterday we celebrated Prabhupada reached in New York via Boston and Prabhupada preached the cult there in 1965 and it is a present all over the world now. Okay. Since 1947, I heard from one lecture, I am just reading out. Since 1947, government has been suffering to bring people happy. But it is not possible. Many plans like Panchavarsha Pranalika, Dashavarsha Pranalika and many other projects, they have been failed. And even, you know, in worldwide there was one program. What is that, Prabhu? That 20 points program. Some organization like um, one world organization, they met Sark, I think. They had some 20 points program. That means, particular countries, they gather together, they wanted to sort out, just like in our India, there is a Panchavarsha Pranalika also, they made this 20-point program, but that also got failed. Why? Because problems are, problems are uh, plenty, points are 20, then results are many, Mesi results, you know, almost completely failed. And even though also there are so many uh, countries they joined in the name of United Nations Organization. But if you see the flags are increasing, the nation flags are increasing, but what kind of unity is that? Earlier India is called Bharata Varsha. So many countries are here. Even Sri Lanka part of India, Bangladesh, Nepal, Pakistan, they are all part and parcel of India. Now what happened? They all got divided. And they, they, you cannot cut the earth and say this is my land. Earth is earth only. You, know? you cannot uh, demark it. Earth is always uh, earth. But it is spirit, materially, you know, I want to lot it over. And the uh, Lord will say that you are not the Lord. I am the Lord. And he will come and teach various lessons uh, for all these uh, conditional souls. So, uh, in the Prabhupada, there is another point that uh, above the modes of nature is eternal time. This is a Kala, which is called Kala because it changes the shape of everything in the material world. Like have you ever imagined a flyover here some time back? There was no flyover. And uh, uh, I am little bit used to this road, but after this flyover I got confused. I need to call Parmanan Prabhu or Hari Prabhu, Prabhu can you please guide me. Uh, here the point is the time influence is there on all the uh, articles, 
and also on the human beings why our hair is going uh, white it should be always black you know why is it getting white and our skin we should always look charming why is getting wrinkled because the time factor time influence is there on us that's why it is getting like that but do you think it is a of course we can paint our white hair black but how long you can paint one day it is revealed and can you protect your teeth and the eyesight is diminishing and the ears are unable to hear uh uh what is that they begin so what temporarily we may use a hearing aids and color and glasses but what is the permanent solution for that permanent solution is bhakti yoga how bhakti yoga if anybody chants the holy name of the lord following the four related principles there is a very opportunity for him to go back to godhead where is that goloka goloka eva nimishati akilatma bhuta that is our real hometown but unnecessarily we are struggling here that is my hometown this is my native place and uh, we often uh, travel from bangalore to that place again saturday sunday again we come back again we go but nothing is happening and uh, uh, some time back one devotee was mentioning uh, he left his hometown and he came to bangalore and one day he wanted to go to his hometown he went but there was nobody nobody in the sense none of his friends were available in the hometown where have all they gone they all got you know relocated to different places and there was not even his parents are there their parents went to his sister house somewhere and uh, how can you still call your hometown that is not uh, your native place our native place is always blissful it is filled with satchidananda and we try to reach you know that place goloka that's why we are uh, uh, taking training in bhuloka if you take sufficient guidance training in bhuloka definitely you will go to goloka otherwise there is another loka is there yamaloka and uh, of course we may not try to go there so um, the best remedy for getting out of the clutches of the cobra like kala or its integrity the modes of nature is bhakti yoga it is recommended also in bhagavad gita then uh, you know how to best utilize the time factor uh, in bhagavad gita somewhere propada mentions that kantvanga maharaj and uh, he was a great uh, king and uh, there was a fight between the uh, demons and the uh vaishnavas demigods and this kantvanga maharaj help was required so he went there and he fought and uh, during the course of fighting the time is passing then uh, these demigods won the war and uh, kantvanga maharaj he wanted to come back actually the demigods they are in thanksgiving okay you have helped us you have fought against these demigods very wonderful now what do you want from me then katvam maharaj he thought okay i didn't know what when i came here the fighting was going on and on and on now tell me how many more years i may live then the one demigod he calculated he said in uh, one muhurta kala you will die oh muhurta kala then you you immediately sent me to bula so he came to the earthly planets he went to the altar and he chanted the holy name of the lord he went back to god katvam maharaj so the time utilization is uh, very very important for all of us uh, it is not like uh, uh, how uh, i spent how many hours i spent where i spent that is uh, really matters in uh, uh, shrimad bhagavatam there is one nice verse how to utilize this uh, time in uh, 2317 it is mentioned ayur harati vai kumsham udyanastam च यानु अशौ तस्यार्थे यत् क्षणो नित उत्तम श्लोक वर्तय द ट्रान्सलेशन इज बोथ बाय राइजिंग एंड बाय सेटिंग द सन डिक्रीसेस द ड्यूरेशन ऑफ लाइफ ऑफ एवरीवन एक्सेप्ट वन हु यूटिलाइजेस द टाइम बाय डिस्कसिंग द टॉपिक्स ऑफ ऑल गुड पर्सनालिटी ऑन द हेड श्री कृष्ण इफ एनीबॉडी यूटिलाइजिंग हिज टाइम डिस्कसिंग कृष्णास पास्ट टाइम Yeah, and like whenever you meet you both are one like we need to you know discuss 
uh, what Krishna did in, Dwa, uh, in Dwaraka, how Krishna kidnapped Rukmini, and uh, how, uh, how were his uh, childhood pastimes, why uh, Krishna did not come to this house, why he went to that house only and he stole the butter. And uh, all these gopis, they knew that Krishna would surely come to his house only. And these type of pastimes we should discuss, because this is all auspicious. That's what all the sastras recommend. And uh, uh, in this occasion, I would like to mention that our ancestors, maybe even uh, some 30, 40 years back also, we all used to hear Harikatha. And all the uh, citizens daily in the morning till evening, they work very hard. And uh, in the evening, they come and take bath and they hear Harikatha. And we are missing this Harikatha. So, whole day we have to keep uh, our uh, uh, consciousness as Krishna consciousness so that uh, our life will be perfect. The highest perfectional project of philanthropic activities is to engage everyone in the act of preaching Bhakti Yoga all over the world because that alone can save the people from the control of Maya or the material nature represented by Kala, Karma and Guna as desired above. The Bhagavad Gita 1426 also confirms this definitely. So, um, our Guru Maharaj, he often mentions that you make uh, this Bangalore city as the first Krishna conscious city. So, that is Gurudev's instruction for all of us. And we need to, you know, meditate on that and we need to utilize our uh, time. See, for Prime Minister and for us also, it's the same 24 hours, you know. Do you think uh, Supreme Court judge has got 36 hours? We have only 24 hours? No. 24 hours common for everybody. So we need to best utilize. See, I am a grahastha. I have wife and two children. And uh, I have to execute my grahastha dharma. Then I have to go to office. I have to come back. So in spite of all this, by the grace of my Guru, my Shiksha Guru, my Diksha Guru, I can able to chant 20 rounds a day for the last three years. I can able to spend at least reading uh, one hour Srimad Bhagavata, at least uh, half an hour hearing uh, the lectures of Gurudev. And uh, I can able to, you know, circumambulate Tulsi Devi at least for 64 times, 64 productions a day. It is possible. And for people, it is not possible means it is not possible in the mind. Your mind is the main enemy for us. So we need to properly tame the mind and tell the mind that your position is below the intelligence. You must mention it. So as per our bodily hierarchy and as per this uh, sloka also, this body is made of Panchabhuta. Above the Panchabhuta is a subtle, ba subtle body is there made of uh, what are the three items? Manasu, Buddhi, Ahankar. So, in this way, this category is there. Mind is the servant of the intelligence, but we are allowing the mind to be the superior of the intelligence. There were, you know, all our programs, uh, they got reverts. That's why we should always try to control the, our mind by chanting the holy name of the Lord. And uh, one Maharaja's message is there on this verse. I just like to share with you. This is talking about the qualities of Pandavas. So, uh, we have a reference like Srimad Bhagavatam 1, 1848. Tirashtruta uh, vipralabdha shapta kshipta hata api nasya tat pratikurvanti tad bhaktaha prabhavo abhi. And this translation is very, very wonderful. And this is aptly applicable, uh, applicable for all the Pandavas. Who is that? The devotees of the Lord are so far-bearing that even though they are defamed, cheated, cursed, disturbed, neglected or even killed, they never incline to avenge themselves. If we do not retaliate, then our material account with that person is cut short and we avoid wasting time and energy with further sense series of retaliations. Common people do not follow this, therefore they are moved by the lower modes. Our duty is to take them out of this. Now you see all these Kauravas, 
they have insulted pandavas they have insulted draupadi and they poisoned like in bhagavad gita there are six kinds of aggressors there do you know who are all the six kinds of aggressors i think you are all initiated sheltered devotees all this uh, those who gives poison okay who burn the houses who attack with the deadly weapons okay and who kidnaps others why uh, then Uh, encroaching others property which normally happens in uh, bangalore city okay and all these kind of uh, atrocities have been done to the pandavas but pandavas are very merciful they are very humble they never retaliate that means they never uh, react so this is a, actually a kind of uh, karma philosophy if uh, something is happen happening to us we should think that it is happening because of my previous acts it is coming on us and the person who is doing to you is is an only agent we don't have to uh, retaliate or react with him we don't have to counteract the moment we stop counteracting with our uh, reactions there where we put full stop on that prabhu how is it yeah it is that is it mentioned in the bhagavatam so if we try to counteract with that person say one person comes prabhu what did you do this this is not supposed to like this but he is a big complaint box but do you also want to be a, his a shareholder so we should not try to poke him further and you need to try to retaliate you need to tolerate when you tolerate it and your reaction will be slowly gradually will be diminished that is the solution for this kind of alleviation uh, so the pandavas got cheated they were uh, uh, thrown out of uh, the city and they were tortured they were set on fire they were insulted they were neglected they were not given any land in spite of all this and uh, the lord made them very very humble and that's why pandavas could able to uh, rule the whole world by the blessings of uh, krishna so in 1341 narada muni says just recently we have done this words also O pious king do not lament for everyone for everyone is uh, under the control of the supreme lord therefore all beings and other leaders carry on worship to be well protected nirvika giridhari mahaprabhu ki jai shila prabhupad ki jai all living beings and their leaders carry on worship to be well protected it is he only who brings them together and disperses them the supreme lord is all the protector nobody can able to protect anybody else so physically we may feel that uh, i am a parent of so and so i can able to protect him very nicely so that is not possible say if you are dropping your uh, kid to the school side maybe you can drop by two wheeler four wheeler but after he enters the school what will happen who knows a snake will come and bite a dog can bite or uh, class teacher will come and hit will you go and stop we cannot able to stop this so that is a only fully in the control of the supreme lord okay we have come to the conclusion the time was given was done i am just summarizing of the uh, this 113 46 words the world's movements for freedom do not benefit to anyone for they are controlled by the superior power so nobody can protect us except the supreme lord and we should not unnecessarily think that i am protecting uh, my children or my people or my staff and uh, in this way we cannot protect and a conditioned living being cannot protect another condition so say one person is drowning in the water how can he save others lives he cannot able to protect so the best remedy for getting out of the clutches of this uh, crocodile type of uh, 
problems is bhakti yoga we are supposed to execute bhakti yoga with love and affection and one who engages in full devotional service unfailing in all circumstances at once transcends the modes of material nature and thus comes to the level of brahma so on our own we cannot able to overcome unless otherwise we have a higher help higher support that support is coming from guru parampara okay so i thank you very much for giving me this opportunity the time is uh, 10:15 and uh, i will take last 2 minutes before we actually getting into the question session um, the importance of following is guru parampara is uh, very very essential for us and this guru parampara we cannot start from the top to bottom no we have to start from it is an ascending order now you see in the altar you cannot start with prabhupad do you think uh, you go and take uh, association of prabhupad directly no we cannot take. so we need, we need to take uh, from bottom see you are connected from a particular person and uh, we call him a kind of guru what is that prabhu the person who connect you for the very first time what the what the pradarshaka guru he was the one who connected for you for you for me somebody connected isn't it that is the one then next to him we have shiksha guru we cannot we can never neglect a shiksha guru also shiksha guru is the one who connects us to diksha guru. and diksha guru is the one who gives us beads mantra diksha and also holy name he gives holy name for you venu dari govind prabhu this is a holy name and he has given given the beads to chant 16 rounds not on the counter but on the beads hari krishna hari krishna 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 hari 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 ram hari ram 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 hari hari and he is supposed to follow the instructions of his guru dev thereby he is connected to the whole parampara so this is the proper etiquette and this is the proper hierarchy we should never never jump like uh, shri prabhupada recommended uh, read uh, first bhagavad gita then go to the first canto second canto third canto fourth canto so mundane people they start reading straight away 10th canto ras leela they cannot understand anything similarly we should report to a guru, uh, one guru one vaishnava if we are not reporting to anybody then uh, you are not under anybody's control voluntarily we have to give our control to somebody because we already controlled so many people and uh, that actually failed so all actually this is not like a hitler type of reporting system this is a you know loving caring system and you know in envoy there is envoy for there is a verse this is called guhyam akyati prachyati guhyam akyati prachyati means you are supposed to meet a vaishnava and reveal confidentially what are all your problems and in this kali yuga the greatest problem is nobody hearing anybody nobody is hearing anybody this is the greatest problem but your shiksha guru is the one who is hearing very patiently so you should utilize the time factor and also his association and you should listen what he is saying you should reveal all your secrets prabhu i am unable to do this what is my problem in other way i can say that you can display exhibit all your problems put on the desk of your shiksha diksha guru and he will see that and he can he is the person he is the authority he can able to guide you he can able to motivate you and he is the one connecting to diksha guru so this is the proper etiquette we cannot bypass this many people are not following even in the devotee community also they are there uh, they become independent and they are not following shastra bhagavad gita is mentioned yes shastra vidyam ustrijya vartate kama karata and you have little kama you want to you know uh, do your own sense gratification you don't want to listen to anybody then what kind of devotee are you devotee means you should be humble Dis- disciple means the word disciple comes from discipline what is the discipline basic discipline is chanting the holy name of the lord 
and following four regulatory principles and reporting to one one prabhuji or one mataji and this is a perfect etiquette then you don't have to worry just like uh, there is a small kid he has to carry him and take him very nicely he is not worried but the worry is who uh, the elder they have worry children they don't mind they happily they, they go like that and elders hey where are you going vehicles are coming come and they have to protect See, spirituality is the same thing. We don't know what is the, we don't know how to chant the holy name of the Lord properly. We don't know how to offer uh, bhoga to the Lord. We don't know how to honor also. We are simply eating. We do not know how to honor. Prabhupada says you should sit in a humble mood and honor Prasada. This I learned from my section. So in this way, we are supposed to follow this system wherever you are. Tomorrow you may be in a summer, say you are a software engineer, you may get uh, relocated to New York or Switzerland or uh, Canada, Australia, wherever it may be. Our ISKCON is there. You are supposed to go there and you need to surrender to one devotee. If you are not surrendered to one devotee, you cannot progress, I guarantee for this. That's what mentioned in Bhagavad Gita, Bhagavatam also. So surrendering to devotee is uh, all in all. That is, uh, we should make a point. Okay, and I will conclude with the uh, last one minute. I just like to glorify one of my Siksha guru, Gurus, His Grace Venadar Govindadas. And when I was coming to the temple and uh, he, he would be able to take care of me and my wife and my children. And this service was given to Prabhu by His uh, Siksha Guru. And uh, Prabhu used to tell us what to do, what not to do. And some qualities I could able to sense in Him that Prabhu uh, is very, very humble. The day one, I saw him, he is the same person today also. The same quality of humbleness and loving relationship, it is the same thing with Prabhu also. And he is a, a good preacher and he is a wonderful caretaker. And I also observed, I also learned that Prabhu never hurts anybody. Prabhu always uh, sharing uh, his uh, love and affection and he is involving all of us in the service of uh, uh, Gandharvi Kaji and he is always you know easily approachable and Prabhu is always very friendly with all of us so we, we should be very very gratitude for our Venidhar Prabhu and we should listen to him what are the instructions he is giving and uh, how much I can able to fulfill these instructions in this way the Guru is pleased if you are reporting, authority is not pleased, the Guru is not pleased. So this is the proper channel. So how to follow Guru Maharaj's footsteps? And uh, uh, how to be very cordial with all the devotees? This all, just by seeing Prabhu, you can learn. Just by seeing, like he is wearing dhoti kurta, you should understand that I also should come in dhoti kurta. I should not come in t-shirt and pants. Is that? So Vaishnava is the one who teaches just by his behavior. And if we are also first class student, we can easily follow it. Oh, this is a Vaishnava school. We are supposed to wear dhoti, kurta, tilak. Okay, I am supposed to wear sari and tilak. I should not come in you know, coat, suit, boot. No, that is not our Vaishnava etiquette. Okay, so thank you very much. I have taken some little extra time. I am sorry for that. And uh, out of my ignorance, if I have spoken something uh, beyond this, kindly excuse me. Hare Krishna. If you have any questions, you are welcome. I have a question. I have a question. I have a question. I have a question. Mataji's question was, uh, uh, Lord is protecting all the devotees, but in Kali Yuga we are facing so many difficulties. Um, 
why lord is not protecting or how we can protect and how to recognize that lord is protecting lord is protecting the how we can notice that lord is protecting us okay how we can identify or recognize that lord is protecting protecting us yes this is the uh, crude example we all have gathered here had we not gathered here we would have been somewhere else and there we would, we would have met so many dangers also isn't it now we are under the protection of gandharva uh, kiri then similarly when you always think of krishna also you are already protected and uh, this is actually a uh, wide question the answers are many according to the situation and case to case and uh, yeah, normally a devotee is always protected and also lord sees our sincerity also like how sincere you are like uh, somebody came to prabhupada and he was asking can you show me god then prabhupada asked what is your qualification to see god uh, are you purified we cannot able to see the minister or uh, chief minister or prime minister how can he able to see the god the point is our own qualification our own purification am i chanting 16 rounds daily and uh, am i following the four principles and if you are following this and you are pure enough and you are qualified surely lord will uh, protect us but sometimes you know we misinterpret that's why we need a guide we need a trainer we need a caretaker and we should tell prabhu this is what today happened while cutting this course i got cut there is a bleed why krishna is not there or how, how can i understand this? so your guide your leader your preacher will tell how it happened so uh, to some extent you know you can understand that everything is coming you know uh, basing on our previous krishna maybe he can minimize like uh, actually you are supposed to uh, face a snake bite but your chanting and your sincerity and your enthusiasm is very good so lord will send his dog snake he will send dog for so dog will come and you know it is likely bite you take some injections it will dog like that some concessions will be there and it depends thing on the lord's uh, uh, will and also he says you know ye yatha ma prapadyante tam tataiva bhajami how much ever you surrender krishna will protect you to that extent here our qualification will matter our purity will matter so <coughs> uh, uh, for every devotee is protected, there is no problem. Hope it could answer to some extent. Hare Krishna. Any evidence? కృష్ణ చైతన్యంలో కనుక ఉంటే మీ పాపాలన్నీ కృష్ణ నూనెలో వేసి ఇట్లా ఫ్రై చేస్తారు విత్తనాలు ఉంటాయి కదా మొదటి విత్తనాలు మామూలుగా అలా అలా కట్ చేసి వేస్తే మళ్ళీ మొలకెత్తుతాయి ఫ్రై చేస్తే దే విల్ నాట్ హ్యావ్ జర్మినేషన్ అదే మనకున్న పాప కర్మలన్నీ పెలంలో వేసి ఇట్లా ఫ్రై చేసేసి బయటపడేస్తాయి కర్మాన్ని నిర్దహది కింతూ చక్తి బాజ గోవింద మానపురుషం తమ కర్మాన్ని కర్మాన్ని నిర్ధారి ఎప్పుడైతే మనం సిన్సియర్గా ఉంటామో పదహారు మాలలు నాలుగు నియమాలు పాటిస్తూ ఒక డిమోటింగ్ రిపోర్ట్ చేస్తూ ఉంటే మన కర్మ మారిపోతుంది అంటే కన్స్ట్రక్షన్ ఉంటుందా
ప్రభు మీరు చెప్పారు ఇందాక సో భాగవతం శ్లోక కోట్ చేస్తూ సో ఎవరైతే భగవంతుడి యొక్క నామం చేయరో లేదు భగవంతుడి నుంచి స్థవనం చేయరో వాళ్ళ ఆయుషు సూర్యుడు ఉదయ ఉదయ ఉదయము తర్వాత అస్తమయంతో తీసివేస్తారు సో అంటే ఇక్కడ మనం ఎలా అర్థం చేసుకోవాలి జనరల్గా ప్రతి ఒక్కరు ఆయుష్ వెళ్ళిపోతుంది సో ఈవెనో మనమైనా సరే డివోటీస్ అయినా సరే ఎవరైనా సరే వాళ్ళ ఆయుష్ తీసివేయబడుతుంది సో అయితే ఈ కాంటెక్స్లో మనం ఏ విధంగా అర్థం చేసుకోవాల్సి వస్తుంది ఇక్కడ ఆయుష్ గురించి కాకపోయినా మనం తెలుసుకోవాల్సింది ఆ ఆయుష్ టైం లో నువ్వు ఏం చేసావని కాంటెక్స్ అదే కదా భగవంతుని భక్తులు కాలేకరించే వాళ్ళు వాళ్ళ కార్యకలాపాలు ఎలా ఉంటాయి సినిమాలు చూడటము వ్యభిచారం చేయడము చూడము అదే కదా చేసేది కానీ వైష్ణవులు అనేటువంటి వాడు అవి నాలుగు నియమాలు పాటిస్తూ భగవాన్ నమస్కారం చేస్తూ ఉంటాడు కాబట్టి అతనికి ఈ ఆయుష్ పది సంవత్సరాలైనా యాభై సంవత్సరాలైనా రెండు సంవత్సరాలైనా అది తిరిగి భగవద్ధామని తెలుసుకుంది అని అని తెలుసుకుంది మనం ఏం చేసే మనం ముఖ్యమైనది ఎన్ని రోజులు ఉన్నాము మన శ్రీ ప్రభుత్వ ప్రపంచం అంతా కృష్ణ చైతన్యాన్ని వ్యాపించారు ఎంతో మంది ఈ నాలుగు నియమాలు పదహారు మార్లు జన్మ చేస్తూ ఉన్నవాళ్ళు కొందరు యాక్సిడెంట్లు కూడా చనిపోయారు యంగ్ ఏజ్లో కూడా చనిపోయారు నలభై సంవత్సరాలు ముప్పై ఐదు సంవత్సరాలు యాక్సిడెంట్లు చనిపోయారు అయితే ఈ కలియుగంలో హరినామ కీర్తన ఒకటే దానికి ఇంకొకటింది అనమాట అంటే యుగ ధర్మం యుగ ధర్మ హరినామ సంగీత ఈ ఒక ఆచారం చెప్పినట్టు విధంగా వాళ్ళు చేయడం వల్ల ఆ ఉన్న సమయం వాళ్ళు వృధా చేయకుండా కృష్ణుని సేవలో ఉపయోగించారు కాబట్టి వాళ్ళు కృష్ణ ధామాన్ని వెళ్ళిపోతారు అది సింపుల్ లాస్ అంతే హరే కృష్ణ థ్యాంక్ యూ వెరీ మచ్ గ్రంథరాశి మన భాగవతం హరే కృష్ణ సో వే థ్యాంక్ యూ శ్రీ స్వత్రపతి ప్రభు ఫర్ గివింగ్ దిస్ వండర్ఫుల్ భాగవతం క్లాస్ And also thank all the devotees for visiting this.